Hello and welcome to my Rainbow Kitchen. My name is Julia and I'm here to show you how easy it is to live a whole foods plant-based lifestyle using the Thermomix. And today I want to show you how to make a chickpea shawarma bowl from a cook I do recipe. So let's get started. My week for today is called chickpea shawarma salad bowl. And we're gonna get started cooking. So preheat oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's about 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I've already got my oven going. Next, line two baking trays with uh, baking paper and set aside already taken care of. So now we're gonna get started with the recipe. It says two cloves of garlic, then a bunch of spices. So we got a tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon of coriander, half a teaspoon of salt, I'm skipping that. Uh, half one teaspoon of ground turmeric, one teaspoon of ground allspice, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and half a teaspoon of ground pepper, and a, one to two pinches of ground cayenne pepper. And so I have all of my spices already pre measured in here, so I'll just put those in. 60 grams of olive oil, and I don't use oil, so I'm going to use water instead. And now I'm going to grind all of this up into a paste. Put the measuring cup into the mixing bowl lid, and now we're going to go for one minute on speed 10. Alrighty, so that was one minute. Let's take a look. We have a nice paste of spices. Next, scrape down the sides of the mixing bowl with the spatula. Okay, so I'm going to scrape off the lid as well. Now we're going to add 400 grams of canned chickpeas rinsed and drained. So that's about 250 grams after you get rid of the liquid. And I have that right here. Should be one can of chickpeas, and that's what this is, one can. And uh, from my can, that comes to about 280 grams. One red onion, approximately 180 grams, cut into slices. And one red capsicum cut into slices. And then we're gonna put the lid back on. And now it's going to just mix this up for 30 seconds on stir speed. And it's also set to reverse because we don't actually want to chop the onion or the bell pepper. We just want to mix, mix everything with the spices. Alrighty, that was 30 seconds. Let's take a look. And, you know, maybe not the best way to mix something up. So I'm just going to take my spatula real quick. And now this is going to go into the oven. So next is a transfer, the, uh, transfer onto one of the prepared trays. So I'm gonna put that into my oven and I will be back. Okay, so it makes a good amount, so you definitely want to use something like a cookie sheet to, so you can get uh, it mostly into a single layer so things can crisp up a little, cook and crisp up while they're in the oven. Then you take, can, uh, the recipe says to take two pita breads and, and put those on the other baking uh, tray, sprinkle with salt and a little bit of the oil. I'm gonna skip that because I don't really do um, flour products at this point. And then they go into the oven and bake for seven minutes. So I'm gonna go set a timer for seven minutes. Okay, so after seven minutes, you take out the pita bread and then you put, turn the chickpeas and you bake those for another 10 minutes. So the chickpeas alone are just going to be 17 minutes total, um, and you should just turn them uh, uh, halfway through, uh, mix them up, turn them over a little bit about halfway through. Okay, so now we're just going to clean out the mixing bowl, and then for that I will run the cleaning program, and I'm just going to use the all-purpose cleaning mode for this, which is eight minutes, uh, probably a little faster because I've put in hot water. I'm back. Um, while the machine was cleaning itself, I cleaned the kitchen up a little bit. So that is one thing that I really uh, like about the Thermomix is that um, while it's busy cooking for me, I can do other things. So I'm just going to dump out the soap with water and then we'll get started with the second part of the recipe. So here we are. After you clean the Thermomix, you always want to make sure that you dry the pins here at the bottom. Uh, that's how you could introduce moisture into the base. That's not something you want your electronics. So let's go back to the recipes. We'll push a little green button. Go here next. Um, so here's my lid. And um, sometimes when you cook things like this recipe where there's turmeric in it or lots of spices, the mixing bowl lid can get a little yellow or 
smelly and what really helps is placing it out into the sun for a couple of hours. Depending on where you are in the world, it might take a little bit longer. We're going to place a bowl onto the mixing bowl lid and we're going to add 150 grams of thinly sliced cabbage, red cabbage. And I use a mandolin to slice my, my cabbage this thing. So turn it up slightly more, that's okay. Now I'm going to add 20 grams of red wine vinegar. Just a touch more. And then set that aside to pickles. Quarter of a red onion in, in slices. So I'm going to add that to the mixing bowl. The two teaspoons of sumac, which is a Middle Eastern spice. Also with into the mixing bowl. And we're going to cut the lid with a measuring cup. And now we're going to um, cook that for 20 seconds. Okay, so now we're going to add half of a yellow bell pepper, cut into strips, and then 40 grams of water, and 50 grams of lemon juice. I have some lemons here from my garden. I'm lucky to live in California where I have a lemon tree in the backyard. So 50 grams of... So put the lid back on. Now we're also going to make, mix, the, mix this up for 10 seconds as we do. And we're in, re, you can see the, the green on here, so that means we're in reverse. And while that's doing this, I'm going to go check on my chickpeas and see if they need a trim. Alright, the chickpeas and onion and bell pepper mixture smells delicious and it looks nice and hot. I'm sure that'll be ready soon. And now we're going to add our onion and bell pepper mixture to our pickled cabbage and stir everything um, to combine. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add the cabbage, the pickled cabbage in here. So I'm just going to get about 20 seconds on. So I'm going to go home and then uh, I'm going to switch it into reverse and I'm going to use beat two. And I'm going to actually take a look here on the inside and see what's happening. See everything got nicely combined. I'm gonna add this back into my bowl here. Okay, and then it means everything is done. Just in time for the chickpeas to be done. I just had my timer go off, and now it just talks you through how to bo how to plate all of this. So uh, leaf salad, cucumbers. You can use some pomegranate, um, see arrows, and then the cabbage salad and the roasted chickpeas. Thank you so much for joining me today in my Rainbow Kitchen where I showed you how easy it is to make a chickpea shawarma bowl with the Thermomix. I will plate this up and let you see what it looks like and give it a taste. Here's the finished bowl um, and what I did is I have a big uh, bunch of lettuce and then here is the chickpea, uh, onion, red pepper mixture, the pickled cabbage salad and the uh, some slice of cucumbers and so let me get a taste of this with yeah this is actually quite tasty so you know sometimes you don't know what to expect from regular like salted recipe when you just leave out the salt and see if it works out or not but the, the pickles pickled cabbage adds a nice little bite and the chickpeas are Nicely spiced. Thanks again for joining me today. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe this video. I'm still working on getting to a thousand subscribers and I really appreciate your help. And if you want to learn more about how a Thermomix uh, works in, could work in your whole foods plant-based kitchen, then uh, check out my video on my easy four-step process to schedule a cooking experience and uh, send me a direct message to the best stuff.